We got a box from the Maniac Castle. I wonder what it is. Alright, so this got here today from Castle Mania Games. Uh, I <laughs> only assume it's the Mega Man collection, which I completely uh, forgot that I bought. And I was actually like, oh man, I wish I'd bought that. And then I was like, oh wait, looks like I bought it. Uh, and at least I'm hoping that's what that is because uh, it would look really silly to have like all this Mega Man stuff and then have it be like something totally different. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, like I was saying, I had completely forgot that I bought this. This is interesting. What is, I've never seen this kind of uh, packaging before. It's like a shredded, shredded cardboard type of thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool uh, padding. All right. Feels neat. It'll make a nice kindling <laughs> for my non-existent fireplace. All right, let's see what is in here. Whoa, whoa, look at that, exciting. So we got Mega Man the Wily Wars box itself, and then, no, don't pop. We got, ta-da! Mega Man the Wily Wars collector's cards, nine collectible cards inside. So before, I get into this unboxing of that awesomeness. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. It's got a little, wait, is it like a sticker maybe? I'm trying to, yep, it's got a little whoop. I wanted to do that all dramatic like. And then I think this is supposed to hold that shit. And then, is that a different sleeve? Oh no, they just kinda, kinda slide out. Nice, very cool, I really like that. Very cool, uh, super excited <laughs> about opening the game, of course, but these cards are cool. We've got Mega Man. Oh, and then in the back we've got stats there. That's really cool, actually. Aliases, Rock, Blue, Blue Bomber. And of course, this is Rock Man in Japan. I've got all the Rock Mans back there. I'm a big fan of Mega Man. Love the uh, original series. Rather, I'm a big fan of original series. Like, I like X, I like all the other stuff. But original series, this is my favorite guy, by the way. Original series is where it's at for me in terms of the series because I grew up with Mega Man. I had uh, the first three Mega Mans. I wouldn't get the rest of them until I got the Famicom ones, but I had the first three Mega Mans uh, growing up. After Mega Man 3, I started doing. Um, Moving on to other stuff, obviously I was, I'm big into the PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, so I was like, uh, Super Nintendo, Turbo Graphics, started moving on, and uh, eventually I would play the other Mega Man games much later, but 1, 2, and 3 was where it was at for me, and uh, I do have every game in the main series, but I don't have the, it's really nice, I like that, I don't have the Mega Drive version of this because it's now super expensive. So we're gonna go ahead and open this now. First, before we get into it, look at this box. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera. Very cool. Ah, oh, he's got a seal. I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to break that. But uh, this is called Seal Busters, after all. Oh, Mega Man, I'm gonna cut your face open. Should I just open it from the bottom? Oh yeah. There's a there's a regular. We're gonna open it from the bottom. All right, we'll we'll bust this seal right here. There we go. All right, I opened it from the bottom, so I don't want to cut through Mega Man's face on the top. So I'm glad <laughs> there were two seals. That's cool though. Look, he's got. You see, like the Mega Man exoskeleton right there. I'm even wearing Mega Man shirt, but you can't, you can't see it right now, but uh, I am. You'll just have to trust me. All right. Uh, oh, I see. Ooh, very cool. Wow. This is really cool. 
we've got all the bosses in their 16-bit glory because they this is uh, all remade for the 16-bit Sega Genesis at the time. And then we got all these cards. Ooh, are they all hollow cards or is it just this top one? It's the original one. We got oh they are look! We got Proto Mans. Is that how it goes? More high pitched, I can't do it. We got metal mans. Cut mans. Oh yes! And my guy! Oh like man, he is my favorite boss. Look at this, Jesse made this. Isn't this cool? He is my favorite Mega Man boss. He's so cool. He just reminds me of like, you know, those like Japanese superhero type characters. You know what? And I'm gonna put him in the front because I could do that. I could do that. Boom, there we go. Look at that. That's so nice. That's so cool. All right, so uh, there's a seal there. There's a seal up on top as well. Where is that? No, there's not. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm trying to be so careful <laughs> with this because I don't want to like I don't want to mess it up. There's a secret. What's the secret? Right up what Reggie told me about the secret. It's like, oh, this blade is too short to do that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to bend it, but got a, a tiny little bit bendy. Here we go. We got a pull tab. Pull tab, gang. Here is the game itself. Mega Man, the Wily Wars is there. There is something in here. <gasps> It is a poster! Look, you see Hardman's face right there. Hilarious little bat thing. I don't think we will need Blade anymore. Wow, very cool. Uh, I wonder if we'll be able to show you this whole poster. I should definitely... I'll probably stream this, actually, is what I'll do. Um, I don't know if we'll have any time to stream it before I put this video up, but uh, I should. Here's what it is on both sides. If I do stream it, I'll just put that. I'll just show it <laughs> on stream and uh, splice that footage in here. Maybe. Mayhaps. Very cool, though. I like that. Let's put you back in the box right now. All right. Oof. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to get into into the Mega Man's itself. This is going to be, uh, I have played this, like I played uh, the Wily Wars on emulation and I think this, I wanna say the Sega channel back in the day. And uh, looks like they made it like the Genesis style, you know, with the, the grid, the OG Genesis style, which is nice. Oh, we have a manual, a nice hefty, oh, the manual is like, Glossy. This is probably one of the best jobs I've seen from Retro Retro Bit. I am not unhappy with the delay at all for this. This is really nice. Ooh, we got is this a bilingual manual too? English and Japanese, maybe. We have this picture here, which is from. Uh, I think the Mega Man 2, or uh, Rock Band 2, Famicom Instruction Manual, I want to say. Uh, we got Story, Controls, Password System, The Wily Tower. <laughs> this is cool. What, is, what is this, like, Son, Son Goku looking boss? How do I not remember that? Or is that something that's new to this? I don't remember! Rush. Rush, you're looking a little weird. I'm just gonna just roll. <laughs> this is how I first read it, Dr. Wily. This manual is really nice. The pages are are nice. And then yeah, it's just the same same manual in in Japanese. And the stock that they used is really thick. It isn't like 
super cheap. The manual cover itself is beautiful. Super nice gloss. For a, a reproduction cart, they, they went all out on this reproduction cart, I feel like. And I haven't even gotten to the actual cart yet. Power up! What is this? What are you? How do I get you out of here without bending you? There we are. What is in here? What are you? Certificate of Authenticity. This is copy 8019 of 20,000. I'm guessing they made 20,000 of them. Very cool. I wonder how many of those actually went out. And then we got a sticker book. Sticker book also super nice and glossy. Oh my gosh. It makes me wish I had bought two of these just so I can like rip these stickers out because I'm never going to use them. But if I had two of them, I would. I totally would. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, Rush, I love Rush. I love Rush. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, that was that's very cool. Certificate on this often. Apparently, I got number eight thousand. That's crazy. Um, I don't even remember when. I, like I said, I, I had completely forgotten that I I ordered this. So. I'm very happy that I did. I'm so happy that I did. Right, I'm trying to carefully put everything back in. And then I want to show you the cart itself. Oh my gosh, the cart. Let's put you here with your, with your older Famicom siblings. Wow, that's, that's really nice. Hopefully the focus uh, this DJI kind of the focus kind of sometimes that's cool though they put the retro bit sticker back here this is usually where you would have all your junk written but they put in a tiny sticker over here which is normally where the Sega sticker would go and uh, the cart itself is all glittery and semi transparent not super transparent it feels nice it feels good the cart feels really good actually and it doesn't feel super cheap. And this is an officially licensed product, which is awesome. Of course it is, right? Right. Retrobit puts out. They're all officially licensed, but you know, it feels it feels good. It feels like like a like something that would have come out back then, except with much more gloss and glitter. Look at that. Look at that uh, foil. It's like. A foil logo right here very cool and uh, yeah this is real official stuff it isn't like <laughs> I've got this right here I bet you all don't know about this what y'all know about Rockman X3 on the Mega Drive <laughs> actually let me open this just to show you really quick what uh, <laughs> the difference between this kind of cart right and something like this that's like Super nicely made. Like this cart is nice. The stickers are nice. It's beautiful. And then you look at this. It's like you've got <laughs> the sticker is like peeling. It was printed on like a bubble jet printer <laughs> or something. Like you can see like all of the all of the lines. It totally feels like the cheapest. Like they couldn't even go with like a glossy paper. <laughs> they went with like some very cheap matte uh, paper with this but uh, yeah you can definitely feel the difference between some like illegal repro to this official repro here and uh, oh wow it even looks like the the edges are filed down they're not completely flat with uh, a lot of repro cartridges, including our own uh, FX Unit Yuki. I don't have one here to show you, but a lot of uh, manufacturers don't um, don't file down the edges. So it, when you stick it in your carts and you pull them out, it wants to like take the entire console with it. I've seen I've seen some really bad ones uh, with this type of thing. I've seen some that are just 
not good at all, completely sharp, but that's nice. They went through the extra trouble of doing that, which is good, because that's how they used to make the cards back in the day. They would do that, and you could easily put your cards on the consoles without worrying about it taking your life. All right, we're gonna put this back in here. Feels very nice. Feels, feels good. Feels good, y'all. Seriously, feels really good. Feels very good. We will put him here with, uh, here are the primary three right here. Rockman one, two, and three. That's what's in this cart right here. So, um, I guess we can go ahead and, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture any footage or if this is going to be the end of the video we will see maybe we will splice in some footage from twitch which uh you guys should be following if you guys want to catch me streaming i stream uh three times a week now on twitch and uh you can see the link up above right here it's just uh twitch.tv forward slash sarumaru pce because of course pc engine and i love it but uh give me a follow i play games there and uh we're going to go ahead and play this game there as well. Mega Man The Wily Wars. And I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how this functions on the Poly Mega. And it works. It works great. Super cool. And this is Mega Man 1. Okay, everyone, so there you have it, Mega Man The Wily Wars for the Sega Genesis. This officially, really, officially really, really, really released cart by Retrobit Games, and uh, as you can see from the footage, it looks like they improved a bunch of things like slow down. Uh, it, it just overall runs better than the original one did, which is cool. Uh, there were some like timing issues too, that was a big problem. Um, that they seem to fix, uh, or at least that's what it seems. I don't know. It could have been also just bad emulation that I was playing back in the day, but it, it does feel, it does feel improved for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this seal busting video of Mega Man: The Wily Wars, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.